Hello, Royal fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, by request, we're going to be building the CSX Coil Shield car. So let's get right into the build here. As usual, the first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler and attach it up here. Then we're going to take a lapis lazuli block and we're going to make a row of lapis that needs to be 22 blocks long. I miscounted mine here and didn't make it long enough and didn't realize it till it was too late in the video. So my car is going to be off center. So make sure it's 22 blocks long. Then we'll put another coupler down at this end here. Come underneath, two dark oak fence gates on this end, and two underneath on this end here. Then we'll do our wheels here. So right in front of where the fence gate is, we're going to get a block of netherite on each rail for the wheels with an end rod axle. Then I'm going to use wax exposed cut copper stairs. And we need to make a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern here that's three blocks wide. But you can use whatever stairs you want for these trucks. I like to mix and match on my freight cars. Then another set of netherite wheels here with an end rod axle. Then we'll put hoppers in front of the wheels and dark oak fences in front of the stairs. Same thing on this side. Then we have to go and build another truck down on this end. So same thing, right in front of where those fence gates are. And we'll get netherite on each rail. And I'm gonna skip on the third block out and do the next wheel for that side to make it easier. End rod axles, netherite on these rails. And then in the middle, upside down stairs and a back-to-back t-shape -back pattern three blocks wide then a hopper in front of each wheel and a dark oak fence in front of each stair same thing on this side hoppers in front of these wheels and fences in front of the stairs then on each side of this end lapis, a dark prismarine slab on the upper hip box. And on the very outside, an upside down dark prismarine stair on each end. Then a dark prismarine slab on each side underneath the stair. So there's like a little step ladder there. And of course we'll do the same thing at the other end. So a slab, an upside down stair, and a slab underneath it. Same thing over here. A slab. An upside down stair. And a slab underneath it. Once we've done that, we're going to take back out our lapis lazuli block. And starting from the end above this truck, we're going to put a row of five lapis lazuli and then five on the other side then we'll do the same thing at this end so five here five here on the outside edges of this on the upper hip box a row of dark prismarine slabs coming down this five same thing on this side do the same thing down here so five slabs here and five slabs over here next in this middle gap here we're gonna fill it in end to end with lapis lazuli coming out by two so it reaches the outside edge of the car here and just fill this all in over here and then do the same thing over here bring it right out to the side and fill it all in now we're gonna swing around under this middle section here and put two warp trap doors on each end and fill the middle section 
with dark prismarine slabs. And of course, the same thing over here. So two warp trap doors on each end and dark prismarine slabs up the middle on the bottom. Now on the side of this to represent lettering, two oak buttons on the left hand end, one right here on this end, and two oak signs right here. We'll copy this pattern on the other side. So an oak button here, skip a block, two oak signs, and two oak buttons on this end. Next, on top here, starting one block in from the end, in the middle, we're going to put a row of lapis 10 blocks long. Once we have that, we'll put one on each outside one, skip the next one and fill in the middle like that. Same thing here, so skip one from the end and fill in the middle. In these gaps we left, we'll put a dark prismarine slab. Then above it, we'll fill this whole top middle three with lapis. Then above that, a row of lapis coming up the middle. Then we're gonna take dark prismarine stairs facing outward. One on the end, skip, fill it in, skip the one before the end and one on the end. Same pattern here. Then we're going to take warp fence, stack two high on each of these gap and a warp fence gate across it. Same thing here, two warp fences on each side with a warp fence gate in the middle. Now we're going to come on top here and we're going to take out a dark prismarine stair and we're gonna turn so it's facing the end of the car here. And we'll place it right there, one block in from the fence gate. Same thing on this end. And then dark prismarine slabs across this top metal gap. So it looks like that. Then we'll make this other cover a different color. So two blocks of gold on each end here. Come up the middle with polished black stone block till right here, one on top two blocks of gold on each end here. Then a polished black stone slab in each of these corners and fill in the rest of this bottom middle with polished black stone blocks. Then we'll fill in the top middle three with polished black stone. And here is where we can see because of my miscalculation earlier, this side is smaller than the other. A row of polished black stone across the top middle, but actually knock out these end ones these top end ones need to be gold as well. Then an oak stair here and here, and the same thing on this side. Then we skip a block in on each end and put polished black stone stairs facing outward. Then in this gap, on each side, two dark oak fences. Same here. And then dark oak fence gate coming across the top in between the fences. Then a polished black stone stair facing like this on each side and one slab in the middle. So you can see this side shorter, unfortunately. But if you did 22 blocks in the beginning, then yours will be even. Then there's these railings on the side. So stack up a column two blocks high and you can use lightning rods for this. Or you could also use end rods. I prefer to use end rods just because I like having lighting wherever possible. And we'll bring this down lengthwise all the way till we get to the other end of this cover. So right here. Then I had one mistakenly placed there and delete these temporary ones. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So a temporary column so you can get on that second block and a row of either end rods or lightning rods down to the other end. So 
So we'll come up here. That one's not supposed to be there. We're going to grab a yellow concrete block real quick here for the lettering. And since mine is shorter, I have to knock out the middle three here to make it look even. But on this one, that's the proper length. We just knock out the middle two and replace it with yellow concrete for the lettering. Then we'll come around and do the same thing on this side. So these two replace with yellow concrete. And this one, I have to do the three because of the mismatch length. Just like that. Delete this temporary column over here. Then we're going to turn this way, put a dark prismarine stair one block from the outside. Close the trap door on it for the brake wheel. Then we'll put a warp fence on that side and three on this side here. And we'll put five coming across this end. Then we're going to take out iron trap door and run it all the way end to end on this outside edge. We'll do the same thing on this side. So end to end on this outside edge. Then we're going to take out a warp trap door and we're going to close two of them on the side of these little stairs here. Same thing here. Then we'll do that on the other end. So close two warp trap doors here. And one more corner to go. Two warp trap doors here. And there we have it folks. We've completed our CSX coil show car. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.